Hello everybody, welcome back to Walking Dead predictions video for season 8, episode 13. This one is titled, Do Not Send Us Astray. Not sure who that can be, maybe it's referring to Snoke Morgan, Carol, Dylan Henry being astray, you know, not sure where he's going right now, he just killed Gavin. Could be. Just saying. So this one seems like a pretty straightforward one to predict. Saviors arrive at the hilltop. And Maggie tries to barter tries to bargain using the captured saviors. Basically leave us alone and they stay alive. If not, I have 38 bullets for, for all of them. Probably no with Simon, that's not gonna work. Simon's probably just gonna start shooting the place up or something. Because he just wants them all dead. Now Rick doing what he did did kind of spare them Negan's punishment. But it's it just made things worse with Simon. Because Negan's calculating, Simon is not. And people were pointing out about the difference between Dwight betraying Negan and Simon betraying Negan. Simon's just something who, who I heard it somewhere it, not, it might have been a talking dead he's just going by the, by the seat of his pants basically he's just he's riffing he's just you know what to heck with this I'm just gonna kill all these people you know he's actively doing stuff the way it was more calculating and you know he always had an alibi for everything he covered his tracks he didn't do anything out in the open, he was very covert. And captured saviors are doing chores, primarily digging graves and putting bodies in it, in them. Not sure who the bodies are at this point. We'll have to watch the episode. Okay, it's basically all at war at the hilltop. Morgan could see a ghost. He could be traumatized by something. He appears to be standing still as people run past him, so he could. Be having a moment. I come across something that Morgan might see a ghost. I don't know. Maybe he sees his son. Or his son is his wife. That would totally be interesting and totally in character for him. Right. Carol talks heart to heart with somebody. Don't know who. And I'll just buy this one more day. Maybe a little bit more. Henry and Henry exchanging his spear for a gun. So he drops the spear and picks up a gun. So he's upgrading and I guess he still wants vengeance. So he's going to be one to watch out for definitely. But I think he'll be fine. He'll get over whatever it is. Hopefully what he did shook Morgan up a little bit. That's maybe why he Morgan starts to realize maybe he needs to disappear. Maybe this is setting in motion him going over to fear, which is pretty cool. I'm going to love the end of season 8 of The Walking Dead, sending Morgan into fear right away. No weak break in between, just straight through. As far as death predictions, I think... Most of the main characters are going to be good for this episode. I think actually all the really main characters are good. Uh, Sadiq's good. They just brought him back to the doctor. He's fine. Eugene's probably not going to be in the episode. He's safe where he is. Same thing for Father Gabriel. Negan might not see him in this episode. They might save that for episode 14. Uh, Simon is good, but he'll probably, his days are probably numbered. Maggie's good, Rick's good, Enid, Rosita, Tara and Del, but we might lose some background people, but just don't know. I don't know who... We might lose, I'm honestly not sure. 
we did this with Dr. Carson, so they might not tell anybody super important right now, but look at what, look at what they did with Carl. So They've killed off a lot of important characters in this show, so. Personally, if it had to be anybody, I would pick Tara just because just her attitude towards Dwight. She's being such the biggest hypocrite on the show. She was with the governor. She didn't do anything, but she was with him on his side. You don't just get to change sides. Well, you did. You didn't change sides during the fight, but you... You know, you did basically get forgiveness from Glenn, and Rick's group accepted you. My, you know, Dwight's proven that he's an ally. It's it's okay for you to change sides, but not for him. Come on. Get real, Tara. I'm not saying I want her dead, but she's the most expendable person I can see right now. I even want Simon alive longer than her, if that's, if that's saying something. But, that's going to be it in terms of what I think is going to happen. It's going to be fight. It's going to be fighting. They're prepared. It happens at night. Rick's getting ready. He has loading his gun in front of the main building at Hilltop. So we shall see. On, on topic of episode 12, you know, Enid was really obviously affected by Carl's death. She wants to basically kill the people and take their stuff. And she's still just proud about killing Natanya, which she did not have to do. Damn it, Enid. But, you know what? It's a show and everybody reacts to things differently. In these situations, so we'll see how it goes from here. I'm excited for next week. Hopefully, we get to see some a lot of good action, some weapons flying, guts getting all over the place. You know, maybe we'll see some good weapons being used. Probably will. Probably see that go in that direction. But I'm excited to see how it turns out. Everybody, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. Looking, I'm looking forward to next week. And as usual, in the description, sneak peek. Not description. I, I'm just going to put the promo sneak peek. The link to the my review as well as to... My my Facebook Walking Dead page and yeah, just look forward to next week and everybody have a good have a nice week, be safe and remember deuces, cherry. Don't forget your peach cobbler. See you next week, everybody. Adios.